Bentley Rail Track allows you to use an uh, an alignment line plus a profile to generate a tunnel. The tunnel is made of a series of meshes and is 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 low in detail. The rail designer can take the alignment and edit its path by clicking on the alignment and moving the tunnel around in both plan and also in elevation. which changes the location of the tunnel in Bentley Rail Track. But what if you need to add extra detail, like services running down the tunnel or concrete panels uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, are the, the cladding for the tunnel itself? Well, you can hook the alignment in with generative components. So here we've built a little generative components model that's using the alignment of the tunnel to put services onto the wall. So when the rail track engineer changes the, the tunnel, the services move to suit. So you can see here that the, the brackets on the wall are fixed to the side of the tunnel. So what happens is, when that change is made in rail track, you go to your reference files, and you can reload the rail track tunnel. You can see here that the alignment has shifted over to here. So using generative components, just hit the update model button and the whole tunnel shifts to the new alignment, including the services or the brackets there and the like. The same can be done with concrete panels that might uh, run down the, the side of the tunnel as well. In this case we've got a very simple arrangement where we just have some panels on one side of the tunnel. Uh, the different patterning methods can be changed depending on the the, the style of the, the, the tunnel requires. So back in rail track, <coughs> we can take the alignment again and shift it over this way. Rail track will rebuild and we can just save that off. And over here we'll open up our reference file dialog, reload the rail track alignment. You can see here it's the alignment shifted over this way. And if we update the model, the panel should sh shift to suit.